Okay, so now we're on to question number six. Find the number of ibuprofen molecules in a tablet containing 200 milligrams of ibuprofen. Okay, so this is a multi-step question. Uh, first, let's write out what we are given. We're given the mass of ibuprofen, which is 200.0 milligrams. But I will convert it to grams just to make it easier for my calculations in the future. So I'm just going to write 0 0.2 grams. And then they give us the uh, chemical formula for ibuprofen C13H18O2. And we want to find the number of ibuprofen molecules. But the first step is to just find the molar mass of ibuprofen. So molar mass can be denoted as a capital M of C13H18O2. So to find the molar mass of this overall compound, we need to first determine all of the atomic masses of the individual atoms. So these are just values you would find on your periodic table. And we want to multiply by however many atoms are in the compound. So in the case of carbon, there are 13 carbon atoms. So we're going to multiply 13 by the molar mass of carbon plus 18 times the molar mass of hydrogen plus 2 times the molar mass of oxygen. Okay, so on the periodic table, you'll find that for carbon, it has an atomic num mass of 12.01 grams per mole. For hydrogen, it is 1.01 grams per mole. And for oxygen, it is around 16 grams per mole. Okay, so if we multiply it all out, we should end up getting uh, a molar mass of 206.31 grams per mole. Okay, so that's part one of answering the question. Second part is to now find the number of moles of ibuprofen. So to do this, it is just the mass divided by the molar mass. So this is why I converted our 200 milligrams to 0 0.2 grams, just so that it is, um, I can cancel out the grams when I divide by the molar mass. So it's going to be 0 0.2 grams divided by 206.31 grams per mole. The grams will cancel out, and our number of moles is 9.69 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so lastly, uh, we can answer the question find ibuprofen molecules so now we want to convert our moles to molecules and the way we do this is by multiplying by Avogadro's number 
So Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. And the units are convenient, conveniently molecules over mole. So this will cancel out our moles and give us a final answer of 5.84 times 10 to the 20 molecules. Let me box it. Okay, so the junior tutor said that uh, to solve this, we need to recall some concepts. First, that a mole is the amount of a substance that contains as many elementary entities, such as atoms, molecules, or other particles. Uh, as there are atoms in exactly 12 grams of the carbon-12 isotope, this number is called the Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 to the tw 23. That in mind, we just need to convert the given amount in milligrams to its amount in moles by using the molar mass of ibuprofen. Then we perform dimensional analysis. So they showed it all in one line. So starting from 200 milligrams, they converted it to grams and then divided by the molar mass of ibuprofen, and then multiplied by Avogadro's number, and then got 5.838835. Pretty much the same thing. So this solution is correct.